In this video, learn how to create a digital hall pass using Microsoft Forms. Before I show you how to set it up, let's explore how the digital hall pass works. Teachers or schools will display a hall pass poster with the QR code printed on it. Students will scan the QR code with their phone to launch a Microsoft form. Then they'll complete the form, noting their destination. The information then gets sent to an Excel spreadsheet, and if the teacher would like, they can check to make sure that the student has correctly scanned, and then the student will get the OK to leave for their destination. Upon returning, the student scans again, this time noting that they return to the classroom. And by checking the Excel online form, the teacher or anyone who they share access with can track the time that students left the classroom, their destination, and when they returned. Now that you know how it works, let's talk about setting up your digital hall pass. You want to be able to see the results in real time. So instead of starting at Microsoft Forms, we're going to open an Excel online spreadsheet and call it Hall Pass. This spreadsheet is where we'll find all of our data. Now let's set up our form. Select Insert, Forms, and then New Form. Now you have many different options for setting up your form. I'm going to start with a field for a first and last name. But instead of using these fields, you can select Settings, and choose to automatically record the name of your respondents. This will require all of the participants to be signed into your school domain and it will record their name and email, so you might not even need these name fields. But again, it's totally up to you. In this case, I'm just going to keep the first and last name fields. Next, you want to create a choice question called destination and enter a few places where students typically might leave the classroom for. You can also add an option for other where they can write in an answer. Make sure that you add an entry called return to class. This is what they'll choose when they return to the classroom. You will want to mark any questions as required and you'll see these in red. You can preview your form to make sure that it looks and acts the way that you want it to. So my form's done and now let's generate a link by clicking share you'll find the direct link to your form right over here. You can share this link in an email or inside a learning management system if you'd like. But you're probably going to want to create a poster where the link to your hall pass can be scanned. Forms will automatically generate a QR code for you that you can either copy or download. You'll use this QR code to create a poster that you can print and distribute around your classroom. So once your students scan the hall pass and complete the form, you'll see the timestamp on the Excel document. Then they'll return to class, scan and complete the form again upon re-entry noting that they return to the classroom. On the spreadsheet, you'll be able to view the information about the departure, including the name, destination, and timestamp. So in this case, I can see that John left for the nurse at 9.57 a.m and return to the classroom at 10.17. You'll also have the ability to share this spreadsheet with a colleague or a member of your clerical staff if necessary. Now you'll probably be using this spreadsheet throughout the entire year, so you'll always be able to sort the information to find a specific student or a specific date. So while the system is not completely perfect, if you have access to Office 365 and Microsoft Forms, I definitely recommend checking out creating this process of a digital hall pass.